Uh, right now there are two drugs in uh, phase three testing, pacritinib in the persist one and two study and momolotinib in the simplify one and two studies. Uh, pacritinib is, um, is a drug that has shown in uh, the early phase studies to be an effective drug in reducing spleen um, and symptom burden. Uh, without the myelosuppression that um, is typically seen with, um, with ruxolinib. So this is a drug that can be delivered safely in patients with low platelets. Um, and in the PERSIST-1 study, which was a randomized study of pacritinib versus best available therapy, excluding ruxolinib, and irregardless of, of platelet count, um, pacritinib was, um, was an effective drug in meeting its primary endpoint, but also had a 25% uh, anemia response, uh, which was impressive. And that's not something you typically see with ruxolinib or expect to see. In the PERSIST-2 study, which we'll present as a late-breaking abstract at this meeting, uh, this was a study that was slightly different. It was a study targeted at this very vulnerable patient population, which is low platelets. So the criteria for the study was less than 100,000 platelet count um, and prior uh, history, either uh, refractory or failed ruxolinib, or in the case of patients with platelets less than 50,000 would not be eligible for ruxolinib. In this study, patients were randomized one to one to one to 400 milligrams of pacritinib a day, 200 milligrams twice a day, or best available therapy. And probably 40 to 50% of patients in the best available therapy arm received ruxolitinib and that speaks to the fact that there really aren't viable options for these patients. So they, they were back on uh, ruxolitinib in many cases. Um, the, the primary endpoint at 24 weeks was a co-primary endpoint of spleen reduction and symptom burden, which is common in this setting. Um, the spleen reduction was met in a pooled analysis of the QD and BID dosing. It met its primary endpoint. The, the reduction in total symptom score um, did not, it was not statistically significant, although it trended to significance. Um, if you separated out the, um, the two doses, 200 twice a day or 400 once a day, um, there was, um, in both cases, of spleen response and symptom response, a benefit to pacritinib when dose 200 BID.